Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Alan Wade back again with another video. And when you see the SE600 in the background, you know exactly what time it is. It's time to embroider something on our brother SE600 sewing and embroidery machine. Guys, if you haven't picked your machine up yet, use my Amazon link down in the description down below to purchase your brother SE600 or better yet, I recommend purchasing a brother SE1900 because the prices are so close together now. But when you see this machine, you know exactly what time it is. It's time to make a client design, guys. Today's video is brought to you by AlanAWay.com. Guys, go visit the merch site, AlanAWay.com, and buy yourself some channel merch. Help support the channel. We got a lot of new items on there. Pick up this black bear hat. Pick up the other black bear hat. Pick up some channel merch. There's a bunch of new t-shirts on there. Also, we're launching our Shopify store. We got a few items on there. Not our Shopify store, our Etsy store. We got a few items on there, so check that out too. But guys, let's jump into this video right after this little song that you guys like to hear. Let's drop that now. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. Boom, 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 just like that. Eight, 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 productions, just like that. Like, comment, subscribe, just like that. Boom, wait a minute, just like that. A dub, you ready? Wait a minute. All right, guys, you see it. It's the Brother SE600 sewing and embroidery machine. Don't act like you don't. When you do, you know you missed it, guys. And down here, we have our two spools of thread, our red thread, and we have our white thread. And up top, we have some black thread already loaded into the machine. Guys, also check out our spool savers. Um, links down below, but you guys can check out alanaway.com to buy yourself some spool savers and some snips. There's our, um, it's in our embroidery supplies collection. Um, you got your little starter pack of spools and uh, stuff like that, but we'll get into that later. But look at our design on the screen. It's a client design. It says classy, but cocky. Actually, it says classy, cocky with some lips right there. You see um, some information about our design. It's a 13 minute stitch out, black 10 minutes, red two minutes, and chrome, which is we're gonna use white one minute. So let's just go ahead and get this thing started. We have our thread all um, inside the machine already, and we have our cloth material along with our tearaway stabilizer. We're all ready to go. You see our thread is already threaded. Let's get you guys a closer shot when I hit this button. It's just gonna start to embroider, boom. And guys, this is a client design once again, like I said. And if you have a design that you'd like digitized, I haven't stopped doing it. I just don't advertise it as much. I don't say it as much. But if you have a design that you want digitized, contact me, awproductions at gmail.com and I'll get back to you with a price quote. Hey, and you guys know you're contacting me to get a price quote, so don't just contact me and say, hey, how much is the digitized uh, uh, image? You guys have to actually send me the image. So rather than wasting a whole email, if you're inquiring about something, awproductions at gmail.com, just send the image in the initial email and I'll get right back to you with a quote. Guys, so thank you so much for that in advance. Guys, a lot has been going on. I know uh, you guys are probably like, yo, what's going on? Is he still doing embroidery videos? I absolutely am still doing embroidery videos. It's just that I had to set everything else up. You guys uh, did see a Rakoma MT1501 video recently. Um, well, fairly recent. Um, check that out and give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. And if you guys are into trying to elevate your business, Rakoma affiliate links down in the description below. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. But if you're just getting started, like I was getting started a few years ago, then you might want to consider purchasing a, something like a SE600 or a PE800, or matter of fact, not even a PE800. Get, just get the SE1900 because the prices are so close together, you just might as well get the better machine. And I say get the SE1900 because it's a sewing and embroidery machine versus a PE800, which is just an embroidery machine guys so here we go we got our embroidery stitching out got the letters going out going on on the uh on the image here so we'll be right back let's let some of this stitch out and we'll be right back i want to thank you so much for the pattern um i'm doing the first run on it just got the tension set right so i wanted to show you while it was still on the machine as you can hear it this on a t-shirt and honestly this is the first one I've ever done so 
Dude, you're awesome. I will send you a finished picture. Right here in the design, I'm gonna stop my machine for a second. Anytime when your machine makes a large jump from one area to another area, you wanna stop your machine and just trim that stitch so that the embroidery machine doesn't go crazy and start embroidering over a stitch. And that'll save you. You see how good these uh, snips cut to? Notice that. That'll save you a whole lot of time and effort when it comes to uh, cleanup later on in your design. All right, so just make a mental note of that. I just wanted to show you guys that real fast because that is very, very important. And I'm here to give you guys keys to help ease your transition when you're learning how to use your machine. All right, so that's what I'm here for and that's what I'm gonna do. Guys, so give this video a thumbs up if you haven't given it a thumbs up already. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Share this video out with your friends and stay tuned for more content like this because we, we do this stuff all the time. And I know I haven't been giving you guys a lot of Brother SE600 videos, but like I said, I had a lot going on with the renovation in this room that right here where we're shooting a video at. And I had a lot of other things going on behind the scenes with some affiliate companies and things of that nature, but we are all set up right here and we are ready to get back in the full swing of things, guys. CBC Classy But Cocky, new logo items can be found on at CBC underscore apparel underscore. Black owned business and more items coming soon. That's what I was told to relay to you guys. So once again, CBC underscore apparel underscore. Black owned business, more items coming to the store very, very soon. So stay tuned for that classy but cocky. All right. So um, we're done the cocky part. You see the little, little bullet diagram right there. I mean the little bullet image right there. Guys, when you get to something like this, like I said, you want to stop and you want to go ahead and trim right here. This is, this is a tutorial, guys. So I want to you know, help you guys get better when you get your machine. So I'm just instructing you on what I'd advise you to do. Stop, trim, get close, snip. All right, continue. All right, that helps you a lot when it's time for cleaning up at the end. It makes your design come out a lot easier. Now guys, you see these little tiny letters, like how thin they are? When you're making your logo, it's things that you wanna keep in mind that uh, especially if you, you, you know in advance that you wanna digitize your logo, you wanna embroider it. This is one of those things that you have to keep in mind. Like, do I wanna use this font? Is it thick enough? Is it gonna show up the way I want it to show up? Is it gonna stand out the way I want it to stand out? These are all things that you have to think about in advance when you're creating your logo design. Now for this logo in particular, I think the font would have looked thicker, um, would have looked better if the classy font was thicker, but you have to give the client exactly what they want. But overall, I think it's it's fun. Um, and this is not her only logo. I digitized three files for her. Um, and yeah, I, I appreciate the, the business. And this is not her only logo. So she has other things, other logos to fall back on um, if she decides that she doesn't want to use this. But overall, she was happy and she's satisfied with the way it came out because I gave her exactly what it is that she wanted, right? So this black part is just about finished stitching out, then we're gonna change threads and put in the red thread, guys. So um, this is the last part right here. It's gonna just embroider out this Y. And guys, like I said, if you're in the market to get your logo digitized, hit me up, awproductions at gmail.com. And don't forget, anytime you're shopping for anything on Amazon, anything at all, don't forget about your boy. Come back over here and use my Amazon link. Just click on the link in the description of this video or any of the videos. Navigate over to Amazon and um, purchase those items. It costs you absolutely nothing extra and it helps the channel out a lot. It keeps me motivated to keep making content like this, guys, all right? And um, I gotta keep on rolling stuff out because I, I'm trying to see something real fast, all right? Let's uh, switch our thread. All right, so we just raise our foot, swipe underneath, take our thread out. All right, just take our thread out just like that. And then we are going to put in our red thread. Boom. All right. 
Boom, boom, boom. And guys, by the way, today is 4th of July. So happy 4th of July for everybody. Um, let me know in the comments if you are barbecuing or if you're attending a barbecue. Um, I would love to know what type of foods you're eating at your barbecue. Um, I think I'm, I am going to throw some stuff on the grill. So it's going to be some festivities going on over here. My mom is in town. So she uh, has her friend in town also with her. So um, it's going to be some festivities over here. It's going to be a good time. So we'll see how things go. I'm quite sure everybody's going to have a good time. So I feel like I should be embroidering a 4th of July design, guys, but we're not. Who knows? Maybe we might see something 4th of July before today, before the day's out on the channel. Who knows? We'll, we'll have to see. Um, we need some new files on alanaway.com, right? You guys, also, for you guys that have an embroidery machine and don't know about it, because not everybody knows, because the more you scream loud, sometimes you, your message isn't getting through to everybody that you think it's getting through to. AlanAWay.com. You can download .pes files that are good to use on your brother SE600, brother PE800, and then brother SE1900. So you can embroider um, out these files and you can start practicing or you can start using um, specific some certain files you can start using to uh, start generating some revenue for your business so you have a head start. I make these files available to you guys very very low prices most of them are one dollar so I mean you can't beat those deals for a practice file most of them are one dollar so um, where else on the internet excuse me are you gonna get stuff like that available to you alanaway.com buy yourself some channel merch buy yourself some .pes files or purchase a preloaded flash drive. I have some preloaded flash drives that I sell on the website that you guys can purchase. Um, so you get a flash drive that already has designs on it. So all the only thing you have to do is plug it into the side of your machine and you are good to go. Cooking on gas. Pick the file you want to embroider. Follow the instructions on the screen like you see me doing. Set switch to red. I switch to red. And you are cooking on gas and good to go. But guys, you see the, you see the logo though? classy got the cocky backwards i think that was creative just to give you guys some ideas of something stuff that you might want to consider when creating your logo right so this is another thing that you guys can get from watching these videos you can get some creative sense of something that you might want to do and to be honest guys right now the design could could be left like this but we got some white that we're going to put in all right so we're going to swipe 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 really not necessary white is not necessary when you're embroidering on white unless you just you know want a certain area to pop and in this case we're gonna see see what it do we're gonna see what it do so let me load up the machine with some white embroidery thread this is the last part of the embroidery design right here it only takes one minute so there's no point in not doing it guys and once again hit me up awproductions at gmail.com a lot of people Sometimes I get in the comment section, right, that I talk too much in my videos. And I got to be honest with you, being a YouTuber now, um, I, I kind of like try to stay away from negativity because it blocks my creativity. So you can go ahead and say what you want to say in the comments below, right, in the comment section. But just know that if you find any of this information on this channel that I give away, take my time to, to create for you guys, if you find any of it useful if you find any of it valuable um don't be surprised if you go to find another video on the channel or find your favorite video that you've seen on this channel and you can't find it anymore don't be surprised because if you want to be a smart aleck right then you don't necessarily have to watch the video so i'll help you out and i'll just block you <laughs> and i'm not i'm not saying that to be mean or anything like that i'm just saying i, I don't have time for negativity so if you're not offering positive suggestions, if you're not uh, mindful of the way that you're saying things, and if you're saying things in a hurtful and malicious way, I'm not even gonna respond. I don't wanna respond, I'm just gonna block you. All right, because uh, I've been spent enough energy going back and forth with people. It's just not worth my time. So check out the design, guys. Classy but cocky. See one little trim here that I gotta make, so let me Make that trim right there. See how sharp these things are? But I like the way she did that. 
I like that. I, I think that's I think that's dope. If you guys you guys see that, that's pretty that's pretty clever. That is clever what she did right there. Like it's almost like you can cocky with the bullet. That's the bad side. Classy with the lips. That's the good side. That is that is pretty creative right there. You guys gotta admit. Some of you guys like some of you guys are so creative. You guys just don't even know what you're doing. But this is one instance where, like, you got to give her her props on this design right here because um, it's very, very playful and it's very, very, um, some thought went into this. You can tell. All right. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I think it's dope. All right. So there you guys have it. You got the classy but cocky embroidery design available on CBC underscore class. No, CBC underscore. I, I, yeah. I said it earlier, guys. So uh, yeah, check check that site out, and um, yeah, give give uh, the young entrepreneur some play. I think the design is dope and playful. I like it a lot. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to hit me up on Instagram, Instagram A Dub Productions, um, Facebook A Dub Productions. Follow me there. And if you have any questions about this video, leave your questions in the comment section down below. Or if you want to hit me up on Instagram, do not DM me. Do not DM me. Just Leave your questions or your concerns in the comments under any of my pictures and I'll get back to you. That's the best way to get back to me. If you have business inquiries, you can DM me if you have business inquiries, um, business inquiries, or um, you can email me awproductions at gmail.com. Um, don't forget to use those Amazon links, use those affiliate links, use those heat transfer house links, use those Bexels links, use those... Uh, those uh, heat press nation links, use those um, stalls links, use those cricket links. I got affiliate links on the description down below, guys. Thank you so much for your patronage. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for your thumbs ups. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for everything. I appreciate you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Happy 4th of July. Peace. Turn up that, crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby? Thank you.